Hey everybody, it's Lex from PDQ.com. If you've ever wished while you were at work that you could have a superpower to mute end users so you didn't have to hear them talk, you're probably a sysadmin, so smash that subscribe button. Today I'm gonna to take you through how you can auto-approve, or not auto-approve, you can approve an auto-download. Now to do that, let me explain what an auto-download is. We have a package library with pre-built packages, and when I download 7-zip, let's say I hit, it's gonna download it, and you'll notice all these packages here have arrows with them. That's an auto-download package. What that means is, if you go to Options, Preferences, globally, I've set all my auto-downloads to seven days. Basically, what that means is this. When a new version of 7-zip comes out, or Chrome, or whatever one of these packages that I've got here, they've got that little arrow, it's going to wait seven days and then replace the one I've got on my machine. It's a good thing, so I don't have to worry about it. Once I get it, I'm good. Well, here's the thing about that. Let's say one comes down and I need to approve it before the seven days is up. Now, to do that, you'll notice right here, right here, the I've got one approval waiting. So if I click on that, basically it takes me to the next tab over where it opens this. I've got Firefox. Now you look, here's Firefox 79 is the version I've got. It says the current version's here. The latest version's 80. So obviously I don't have the latest version. It's set on an automatic approval after seven days. And it's the approval countdown it says it's got four days and 21 hours before it's going to replace it. Now it's really difficult to do this. You highlight it and you hit approve now. It's so difficult I'm going to do it twice. Approve now. Oh, you actually have to hit it. <laughs> See, I told you it's difficult. That's all you have to do to auto to, to approve those before that automated approval comes through. Select it from the update tab and download them. And now you'll see right here, I've now got version 80 of Mozilla Firefox. It's truly that easy, guys. Hey, thank you for watching. I'm Lex from PDQ.com.